Hello and welcome back. So we've learned how a symmetrical triangle is formed and we know what a swing high and swing low are. We can actually bring both of these concepts together to make a simple method of how you can trade this. Now remember the context is very important. So let's look at a symmetrical triangle in an uptrend. So we've seen this one before in the previous video. What we want to add now is that where is the point to buy? And that point is going to be your latest swing high. You see, it's quite simple if you think about it. If you're moving upwards and we get a pause pattern or a continuation pattern like this one, your, your natural resistance point will be your natural and logical place to buy. Because at that point, sellers had sold or buyers had dried up. So your latest swing high is that point. So if markets can cross this swing high, it's a reasonable enough doubt. Uh, it's a reasonable. It's it's reasonable enough to say uh, that markets shall continue up and the bulls have uh, regained control. So your stop loss to buy is going to be the swing high. So when the markets move up and break out, uh, that is going to be the entry point. Your stop loss um, is going to be the latest swing low somewhere there. That is your latest swing low and that's about it. Uh, the next is what if we're in a downtrend? So the same thing, it's quite simple. When we're moving in a downtrend, uh, you will see that we have a swing low. You will short that point and your latest swing high is going to be your stop. So these all will be stop loss limit orders. Uh, ask your broker if you don't know how to do that. They will trigger automatically and you will get into your buy or your sell once market prices reach uh, that point that you have specified. And don't forget to put your stop loss. It's basically the, on the opposite side. When you are buying in an uptrend, your stop loss is gonna be your latest swing low. And when you're falling in a downtrend and you sold short, uh, your stop loss is gonna be the latest swing high. So now let's go back to those three charts that we had uh, seen in the previous video, IDFC Reliance and Reliance Communication, and how we can actually put uh, trades in them. So this is IDFC, the 30 minute chart. And as you know, this is our triangle. We are looking to short because we are in a downtrend. So your latest swing low is this point, which the market breaks down quite violently, I might add, and continue to fall. Um, your latest swing high, that point is going to be your stop loss. The next chart is Reliance Communications. Pretty much the same story. We have a swing low which broke down and the swing high is going to be your latest stop loss. The next chart is Reliance and Again, this is quite an easy pattern to see here. Uh, we're looking to short again, and the swing low broke down, and our point to short is obviously the swing low, and the swing high is where we keep the stop. So I hope you can now trade these patterns. You know how to identify them, and you do know how to trade them. If you have any questions, you could go down to marketscientist.in. Uh, do visit this website because we have tons of resources for traders and investors to learn how they can be a better trader. We also have a lot of tools and concepts that you can learn as a premium member in the premium member section. So I hope I see you there. And not to forget the next episode, we will be talking about flags. I hope you find that interesting because it's one of my favorite patterns and I'm sure you'll find it uh, easy to trade as well. So see you then.